No, this isn't color by numbers. Y'all, my nose keeps running. This is not it. This ain't it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about eyebrows, which is why I don't have any on right now and I cannot take myself serious. They also have like a little bit of like foundation and stuff like that in them, so they look a little bit lighter. So sorry. But anyways, today I'm just going to be telling you guys some tips and tricks and how to find your right shade and the steps you need to take in order to achieve today's like modern eyebrows, I guess. Like the, the eyebrows that I always wear, the ones that are like gradient and sharp and all that stuff. So if you like to see how I get eyebrows, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first and the not really the biggest but a really really good tip especially for beginners is to get your eyebrows either waxed or plucked and the reason why is because if you do that it's going to give you a little bit of a shape um to kind of follow and it's going to like guide you it's kind of like coloring inside the lines rather than having to draw a whole picture and then color it so i've already plucked my eyebrows um, and I already pretty much I've been doing my eyebrows for a while So I already kind of know my shape, but I've already plucked them So I don't have any hairs and you can kind of tell I have it like a really good line to follow on both of my eyebrows so next is choosing Like a product. So my two favorite that I have are I have a Eyebrow pencil which I usually go with the thinner ones just because they're a little bit more precise There's also like a dip brow which you can use this too. Um, this is for beginners I wouldn't recommend it right away Just because it is super dramatic and it's a lot harder to work with I usually use this on if I want my eyebrows to last a really really long time just because it is like more of a waxy consistency like it's a it's a pomade so it's a little bit thicker. My favorite brush to use is the 7B by Anastasia. On one end it has a spoolie and on the other end it has like the angled brush. And it's just the perfect like density and everything for me. So I really, really like that one. Another product you can use is a brow gel. So if you have pretty decent eyebrows and you just kind of want to put them in place, like maybe they fly away a lot, you can use a brow gel. This one right here is the travel size. It's like the gift with purchase one. I got it from Ulta. There is also colored brow gel. Um, you can use that just like by itself without any like pencil or dip brow or anything in your eyebrow. And it'll just add color to the hairs that are already there. Anywho, also I am a little bit sick. So if I sound like really stuffy, I'm sorry. There's a lot of different brands that you can use. Usually, whatever your favorite brand is, they usually have eyebrow pencils. You kind of just have to play around with it and find what you like and find the correct shade for you. Now let's talk about application. So now that all that is out of the way, I'm gonna go with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown. I use this one on a daily basis and I use this whenever I go out. These are the same color. Also, if I'm looking over there, it's because I have a monitor right there for application and my spoolie is kind of dirty so I'm sorry but like I said I use this literally every day and usually I put on my eyebrows before I do the rest of my face so like I'll wash my face do my toner do my skincare all that stuff I'll put on primer and then I go in with my eyebrows first because at the end of doing my eyebrows, I put concealer around it to kind of carve them out and I don't want powder and stuff all over my face, but for the sake of this video, I went ahead and did my base because we ugly out here and I'm not doing this whole video with no makeup. So anyways, the first thing I do when I'm doing my eyebrows is first I brush my hairs up all the way down to my tail. I brush them up so that way I can see that line underneath my eyebrows and then I go in and I just lightly draw a line where those I where those hairs are and I do go all the way down where the tail is and then I brush my hairs down and then I do literally the exact same thing that I did like I drew the line on the bottom and then I do it on the top and then I just brush my hairs to where they're supposed to go and then, now that that's done, I'm gonna start filling it in. So for this part, you can either use the thin pencil or you can use a thicker one. So I'm gonna start at the tail of my eyebrow and I'm gonna start filling it in. Over here, it needs to be more pressure, more pressure, less pressure, barely any pressure. Because remember I was telling you guys, the more or the harder you press, 
the darker it's gonna be. And you want that gradient. You don't want it to be a block eyebrow. You don't want your eyebrows to look like you took a Sharpie and just carved them out and then filled it in. Like, no, this isn't color by numbers. No, you need a nice gradient. You need it to go light to dark to like full pigment over here, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start right here and you're just gonna fill it in. So you're gonna do less and less pressure the closer you get to the front of your eyebrow. And then towards the very front, I like to flick up just a little bit. I barely, barely, barely put any product in the front of my eyebrow because then you go in with your spoolie and that's how you're gonna fade your eyebrow. So now that most of my eyebrows filled in, I'm just going in and I'm basically blending everything together, which if you guys haven't noticed by now, all makeup is like 90% of it is blending. So like if you don't know how to blend, baby, you gotta learn how to blend. The more you spoolie it out, the lighter it's gonna get. So just keep that in mind. That's why I keep going back and forth between the pencil and the spoolie so I can blend it all together. So now that that is done, I'm gonna completely finish this eyebrow before I even start that other eyebrow because I wanna show you guys like the before and after pretty much. So anyways, now what I'm gonna do is, you see how it's not like super sharp, it's just kinda like chilling. and then this, oops, the tail of my eyebrow, I like it to be like sharp, sharp, like, like, you know? I'm gonna take this flat concealer brush and I'm sorry it's a little bit dirty but I literally use it every day. And then I'm gonna take, uh, and then I'm gonna take this concealer. You can really get any concealer. There's no like special concealer to use or anything. And you're gonna take the smallest amount. Don't glob it on there because if you glob it on there you're gonna put concealer places you don't want it to go. Especially since I already have a base on. So I'm just gonna Dab it in just a little bit. Like you literally need the smallest amount. And I'm gonna start carving out my eyebrows. So, um, also this step is not necessary. If you're happy with your eyebrows like this, by all means, have at it girl. Like you do what you do. Um, me personally, I like my eyebrows super sharp and um, defined. So I like to carve them out with concealer. You see how sharp that is now? Like, look at that. And now I'm about to do the top and then it's gonna be like, I swear, every time I do my eyebrows, like I feel myself way too much. Bad bitch, little boy. Bad bitch, little boy. Okay, whenever I do the top, I usually start at the tail because that's where I want it to be like the most defined. And then I just like kind of carve out the top, but I don't put like a lot of concealer because then I feel like it's just too intense and unnecessary, so. Yes. Okay, so that is what the final eyebrow looks like. I am gonna go ahead and put a little bit of eyebrow gel because it is pouring down right, oh, it's actually not anymore. Okay, whatever, anyways, I'm still gonna put it. So, I always brush up in the front and then down like that. I just feel so much better with my eyebrows down. Like, I feel like, like I could conquer the world. Okay, so really fast, I'm gonna go finish my other eyebrow off camera. All right, you guys, that is all that I have for today's video. And just remember your eyebrows, they're sisters, they are not twins, they're not gonna be exactly the same. Nine times out of 10, most people have one eyebrow that is more arched than the other one so you kind of have to just like pick which one you like better and try to match the other side everyone's eyebrows are different it is your preference it's whatever you want you kind of just have to play around with it and see what suits you um this is how i do my eyebrows and this is like i feel like this is how majority people wear their eyebrows nowadays anywho um yeah make sure you guys go like and subscribe comment what you guys want to see if you guys would rather see a beginners for foundation 
or a beginner tutorial for eyeshadow or like exactly i don't know what you guys want to see so just let me know thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next week <laughs> bye